praise be to God today. The word reads, For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou settest in the throne judging right. Dearly beloved, God maintains you. You don't maintain yourself. You can't maintain yourself throughout the day. It is God who maintains you. It is God who keeps you. He keeps you and, dearly beloved, He is responsible for you. If only we as believers can come to a point of recognizing this, that it is not us who keep ourselves, but rather it is God who keeps us. And I want you to know, that when you begin to recognize that, then you stop worrying so much. It's like a child who has a father who works every day and a mother who may be the mother over that home and to care for that home. But yet that child sits around and worry constantly where his next meal will come from. Though he know his dad works and though he know his mother is there to keep him and to be there with him, yet he still worries if his next meal will come or not. That is, beloved, that is worry in vain. And if you were the mother or the father of that child, you would say to that child, why do you worry so much? You know your father will come back home with all the provisions that we need to sustain us. You know He has kept a roof over our head. You know that He has put clothes on your back. And that child say to you, Mama, I just worry because I'm a worrier. And you will say to that child, Child, you need not worry. I am here for you, always and constantly. Dearly beloved, we need to take on the attitude of a babe, a real young child who have no concerns and worry at all in the world because they know that their needs will be met. They simply have to cry out and they know mama will be there with a bottle. They know that dad will be there for them, to hug them, to play with them. They know that. Dearly beloved, we need that type of attitude. You know, the Word of God actually says, unless we become as little children, we will no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what that really means that God maintains us and we have to put all our faith all our confidence in him knowing that he is God he maintains us we put our trust in him we acknowledge him and we know without any doubt that he will sustain and keep us because he is your heavenly father but first, He has to become your Heavenly Father before you can believe that way. Dearly beloved, today, make up your mind. Say to your soul, soul, I will trust my God. He will sustain me. He will maintain me. That I believe in Jesus' name. God bless you today.